I'm joined by Kyle Whitaker, and we're in the cockpit of a 787 Dreamliner. Tell us what these controls do. Well, much like even a much smaller airplane, you have a yoke, which is how we kind of control our pitch. If you push forward, the nose will go down. You pull back, the nose will come up. Also, just like in a smaller aircraft, turn left, the ailerons will move, and it'll cause the aircraft to roll to the left. Or if you turn to the right, it'll cause the aircraft to roll to the right. Also, these are our, what we call thrust levers, or these kind of our engine controls. You push them forward, the engines will rev up and create more thrust and allow the aircraft to move forward. And if you pull them back once you're in flight, it'll allow the aircraft to slow down. Also down on the floor are rudder pedals. You push them to the left and the aircraft will yaw to the left. And if you push the right pedal, it'll yaw to the right. Okay, tell, us, tell me what this is. It's a heads up display. So what it does is it takes information from the navigation computers down here and puts it up here so you can always be focused outside of the window. The Wright brothers didn't have a cockpit. Um, why such a complex cockpit? Well, I'll tell you what, they weren't traveling at 39,000 feet and almost 550 <laughs> miles an hour. If you were to take the Wright brothers and put them in here, and the technology is a little bit different, do you think they'd understand what was going on? I think they might be able to get the basics, but with a little training, they could definitely fly a 787. Is it fun to fly? It's a blast. Best, best job in the world. Lots of fun. Outstanding. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you.